Hello to my Algebra 2 Upward Bound students. This is your instructor, Mrs. Thomas, and I miss all of you guys terribly. Um, so, But I wanted to give you an activity um, so that I can keep your mind focused. And I hope you're staying safe. And so let's get started. Okay. So I found um, an activity um, on teachers pay teachers. And I'm thinking my students are going to love this. Okay. So here, this activity is called math then graph. So it is graphing, but also utilizing systems of linear equations. I know we talked about it that in class. And so I just wanted to piggyback off of what you had already um, learned and to make sure that you are still understanding uh, the material. So here, I want you to, we're going to graph, for instance, this first one, 4.5, negative 15. So, you know, we have our X coordinate and our Y coordinate here. So, of course, you know, Miss Thomas, I have graph paper. Okay. And this is my X axis here. And my Y axis is here. Let's scoot this over so we have a little bit of light. Okay, so the first point that I want to plot, and let me put it over here, is 4.5 negative 15. So I have my X coordinate and my Y coordinate. So of course, you know, th remember we talked about this is the origin when you're graphing. So we're gonna go to the right or to the left, 4.5. So since 4.5 is positive, I want you to move to the right. Okay, so we're just gonna count one, two, three, four, and a half, all right, right there. And then I want to move down 15 in the negative direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 goes right here. Okay, so far so good. Okay, well, let's get to the next one. All right, well, this time, I don't have anything here. There's no X and no Y, but you're going to help me figure it out. So, of course, I have a, my dry erase board. I come prepared. So, the problem is 15. Don't worry, Ms. Thomas always has a backup. 15 X plus 3Y equals 24. 12x plus 3y equals 12, all right? So we talked about solving systems of equations. Okay. Well, I need one to be positive and the other to be negative in order to cancel it out. So I know you want to cancel out those threes, but we cannot do that until what? One of them is negative. So we can decide whether you want the top equation or the bottom equation. But what we're going to do is we're going to multiply a negative one all the way through. When I say negative one, I just want you to start changing the signs. If there was no sign in front of the 12, that makes it positive, a negative 12. There's a positive sign in front of the 3y, so the opposite is a negative 3y. We're just changing the signs of multiplying by negative one all the way through. 12 times a negative one. So this was a positive 12. So I'm change, just changing my signs. I'm leaving the top equation just like it is. I'm just bringing it straight down like I do in class. Okay. Now, can I cancel out 3y minus 3y? If you put 3 minus 3 in the calculator, you're going to get zero, just like we talked about in class. 15 minus 12 is 3. And bring down your x. Bring down your equal sign. 24 minus 12 is what? Okay, good. It's 12. So I want X to be all by itself. So what am I going to do with my coefficient? I'm going to divide it on both sides. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So I know what X is. Now I just need some help with helping me figure out what is Y. So we can substitute in any equation, whether it's the one at the top or the one at the bottom. But I know that the answer now is X equals four, right? So we know what to plug in. We know what to substitute in. So here, I know the answer is four. 
because that's what we just found. I just decided to do the very first one equals 24. I just need you to help me multiply that out. 15 times four is 60, very good. Bring down my three Y equals 24. What's my next step? Subtract 60 from both sides, very good. I'll need to move 60 over here, okay? Now, if you do 24 minus 60, does Miss Thomas have her calculator? Don't you worry, I will go and get it. I'm always prepared, always ready. All right. Calculator right here. Okay. So 24 minus 60 equals negative 36. Bring down my equal sign and bring down my 3y. So what's my last step? I want y all by itself, but I want to get rid of my coefficient. All right. So I'm going to divide both sides by 3. 36, negative 36 divided by 3 is negative 12. So I know that my x was 4 and my y is negative 12. So that is what I want to graph next. Okay, so let me put in my answer here, just like you would write it on your own paper. Okay, so now I know what point I am plotting, okay? So I am plotting four, negative 12. So I have my X and my Y coordinate, okay? So I'm starting at the origin. I'm going to move over to the right four. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going down 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. It's right here. It's right there. Okay, I'm going to find a straight edge. And I'm going to, if I can, yes, I can. Uh -uh. Connect. Connect. Okay, let's go to the next point. You know, I love giving you guys examples. <laughs> three, negative eight. So, three, negative eight. So, we are going to the right or to the left? Good. We're going to the right, three, and up or down? Down eight. Good. So, I'm here at the origin. So, I'm going over three. One, two, three. I'm going down eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is right here. And we're going to connect. It's like a bird's eye view. All right. Okay, we did that. What's next? Five, negative seven. Okay. So over five and how many? Up or down seven? Definitely down seven. Okay. So over five, down seven. So here at the origin, one, two, three, four, five. Down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is right here. Okay. And we're going to connect that. Hey, that was pretty good. Okay, so we're on a roll. You are on a roll. Okay, and then I want you to do the next set. The next set has y equals 2x minus 7, y equals negative x plus 1. Now, that is in class when you were doing um, substitution. But if you prefer either or, you know, I taught you uh, all three ways. I'm just erasing this, guys. So you will, guys and girls. Okay. All right, so I can get the problem up. Okay, so y equals 2x minus 17. Y equals negative x plus 1. Okay. So we can substitute wherever the y is. We can just plug in 2x minus 17 right here. Okay, we're just substituting it in. 
2x minus 17. And we already had negative x plus 1. Okay, and remember, if you get confused, we already talked about in class, that if you don't see a coefficient, it's always a 1. Okay, what should you do next? I want all of my x's to be on the same side together. So I see the two x's over here and one x is way over here. So I want you to help me move one x over here underneath the two x by doing the inverse of the opposite. Well, so what's the opposite of a negative one x? A positive one x, good. Okay, so two plus one, that gives me three x. And you know, I like to bring everything down side by side, step by step, so you'll be able to see everything. So I have 3x minus 17 equals 1. What's my next step? I've moved x to the left, so I need to move 17 over here with the 1. So the opposite or the inverse of a negative 17 is a positive 17. That's the only way I'm going to be able to move it over is by doing the opposite of what I see, the inverse. So 1 plus 17, that gives me 18. Bring down my equal sign. Bring down my 3x. What's my last step? I want x, but I don't want the coefficient in front of it. Good. So you're going to divide both sides by 3. Very good. 18 divided by 3 is 6. So I have 6 so far. Now you just need to help me figure out what is y. I could just substitute it in here, my original problem. So I started out with this. Now I know that x equals 6. I can substitute my answer in here because we already found that x equals 6. We're just substituting that in here, step by step. 2 times 6 is 12. Bring down everything, minus 17. And if you put 12 minus 17 in your calculator, it's going to give you a negative 5. Very good. Okay? Make sure you look at that for me. Okay, so 6 negative five. So I have my X and I have my Y. I need both to, to be able to graph. So six, negative five. So I'm going back over here to my graph. So six, I like to write it down, six, negative five. Okay, so I have my X, what X equals, and now I have my Y coordinate. So I want to go over six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I want to go down five, one, two, three, four, five. Five. Five is right here. All right, and I want to connect the dots. Okay. So I won't give away the picture, but that's how I want you to solve. Okay. Solve the graph. And when I log back on, I'm going to give you a picture of what I have. And hopefully we can compare to the picture that you have. Okay. So I enjoy each and every one of you. I want you to be safe. And I will be logging on, giving you more enrichment videos. You can reach out to me via my email, um, ltom14 at montevallo.edu. Uh, or you can reach out um, to any of your instructors via email, and I will get the message. So have a wonderful um, time, you guys, and I miss you very much.